The Alzheimer's population, unfortunately, is increasing at a rapid pace. We believe that the root cause for Alzheimer's disease is the accumulation of a protein known as beta amyloid in the brain of Alzheimer's patients. Beta amyloid is a normal product of metabolism. It is not something that we ingest. It becomes toxic only under certain conditions and that the toxin starts to attack the surface of nerve cells, leading to oxidative damage, to inflammation, to the breakdown of the connections between nerve cells that are important for relaying uh, messages within the brain. Ultimately, as all of these processes begin to worsen, the brain starts to actively uh, degenerate. The Alzheimer's brain shrinks. Brain cells die. The connections between them uh, are lost, and one very quickly loses the normal ability to learn. Intellect Neurosciences is a biopharmaceutical company that's developing new treatments for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease, particularly focusing on the types of treatments that can slow down or arrest the disease. As opposed to drugs which are currently available on the market that only treat symptoms of the disease. The antisenilin platform is a platform for generating drugs that can specifically bind this amyloid toxin that causes destruction of brain cells without causing adverse events in the brain, which makes it safer than other similar types of approaches. It's like producing a car. It can get you from A to B, but if you don't have the brakes, you've got a problem. Intellect has uh, its own uh, monoclonal antibody, INNO1, which is a humanized uh, monoclonal antibody. We believe it has uh, superior safety and efficacy features that in the long run will improve the profile of the drug when it eventually reaches the market. The technology has been utilized by major pharmaceutical companies and we are aware of at least three different products that are now in a clinical development by major pharmaceutical companies. Each of them are able to recognize unique molecular signatures in the beta amyloid toxin that allow these antibodies to uniquely bind the toxin and help shuttle it away and drain out of the brain. The brain is surrounded by and suspended in a liquid cushion called cerebral spinal fluid, which carries nutrients and essential chemicals to the brain and debris away from the brain by a process known as bulk flow. Under healthy conditions, flow of cerebral spinal fluid keeps nutrients and toxic metabolites balanced. However, in some older people, flow is reduced so that toxins which are normally carried away accumulate. Chief among these toxins is a protein called beta amyloid. A-beta for short. A-beta is the brain cell toxin responsible for Alzheimer's disease. A-beta is produced from a larger normal brain protein called the amyloid precursor protein, APP for short. APP is a critically important molecule present at the intersections where communications between nerve cells occur. APP is broken down when it is snipped by two cutting enzymes producing A-beta. In some cases, A-beta accumulates because it is overproduced, as is the case in early onset cases of Alzheimer's. A-beta is first formed as a soluble single small molecule. These single forms of A-beta have a tendency to stick together and form clumps of increasing size as more A-beta sticks. These small aggregates attack the cell surface and cause oxidative damage. Eventually, the small clumps accumulate into large clumps known as plaques. This progressive increase in aggregation results in additional harm to the brain as white blood cells and antibodies from the immune system attack the clumps in a futile attempt to destroy them. 
Inflammation is a result of this immune attack and inflammation causes additional damage to the brain. Tangles are another microscopic form of toxic molecules. Tangles form inside the nerve cells and lead to further damage. The combination of A-beta toxicity outside the brain cell and tangles inside over time results in irreversible damage to brain cells. Loss of connections between nerve cells and cell death. The first area in the brain to show this Alzheimer's pathology is the hippocampus, the memory maker of the brain. The clinical result is loss of memory and is followed by loss of other brain functions, such as the ability to learn, communicate with language, and behave appropriately. Dr. Chain's approach consists of a safe way to remove a beta protein, ensuring that the normal functions of the important APP molecule is not affected. Given almost any substance, it is possible to create very specific antibodies called monoclonal antibodies. A monoclonal antibody will bind the substance it was created against and will not bind normal molecules. Dr. Chain's approach pinpoints unique molecular signatures at either end of A-beta, which are not present in APP. Antisenilin antibodies only bind these molecular signatures, thus safely helping to shuttle A-beta away from sites of damage in the brain while leaving APP untouched, and thus able to function normally. We believe that we have an approach that has the high potential to succeed because it targets a very primary point in Alzheimer's disease. I believe that drugs that have the potential to slow down or arrest Alzheimer's disease are on the uh, horizon now. Uh, we're much closer than we have been previously. We are hopeful that bapinuzumab and other drugs that are being developed to target beta amyloid and promote its clearance uh, will be effective uh, in treating the disease.